Welcome to Lost Animals, the show where we take a look at certain species that went extinct and why they are gone from existence. To begin this series, we are going to take a look at a bird that is no longer with us. The name in question is the Great Oak. I'm pretty sure that some of you have heard this bird at once, specifically the dead specimen stuff in the museums. However, the story of the Great Oak is actually a tragic one. You will understand it at the end of the episode. Let's first give an idea of the bird before analyzing what happened. The Great Oak was a species of fightless birds that lived until the mid-800s. The bird once widespread on seaside groups on the North Atlantic Ocean, living in colonies. The bird was 75 to 85 centimeters tall and weighed about 5 kilograms. In water, the bird is a skilled swimmer, using its wings to prop itself on the water. Since it is a busy bird, its potential additions include Manhattan, coupling, and crustaceans. However, since this is a seabird, it's clumsy on land, which makes them defenseless against larger predators over there. During reproduction, the females will lay only one egg each year, between May and early June. The egg has an oval shape, being 12.4 cm in length and 7.6 cm in width. Despite its scientific name, the great oak isn't related to penguins. In fact, it belongs in a group of birds known as oxen or oaks, who are also excellent swimmers and divers. But unlike the great oak, the other species can fly. The closest relative of the great oak is the Razorbill, a colonial seabird that lives in the subarctic waters of the Atlantic Ocean. Now that we have looked at what the great oak is, it's time to look at why it went extinct. The humans began hunting the great oak in the Little Ice Age 100,000 years ago. This was evident by the fact that the bird's bones are being carved in the Neanderthal cave. However, it wasn't until the year 1500 where things had started to get really ugly. The European sailors had discovered the rich fishing grounds of Newfoundland where the birds were breeding in huge colonies on Funk Island. So, they exploited the hunt of the great oak. Not only for their food and eggs, but also for their feathers, which drew everyone's eyes like a driven industry. The sailors continued to slaughter or harvested the bird every spring in Funk Island until there was not any single one left over there in 1810. Although there were some attempts to help the bird, it was enough. But that's not the end of the story. The last colony where the Great Oak lived was Geoffrey Glasgow. This island was a volcanic rock that was surrounded by underwater rocks which made it inaccessible to humans. Wait, they are now safe from humans? That means they have a great future. They will recover from the killing by raising new generations. When they are ready, they will shock the entire world with their triumphant return. They will become everyone's favorite animal of all time. And in 1830, a volcanic eruption submerged the island. <laughs> this forced all the remaining birds to relocate to Elde. The sad thing is that, unlike the previous island, Elde is accessible to humans. In 1835, the sailors found out that there were only 15 members of the Great Oak on Elde. The scientists were aware that the bird was going to disappear if they don't help them, but their efforts to save them were in vain. See, in the declining years of the Great Oak, there was a golden era for collectors where they picked specimens from dead animals and stuffed them to their collection. The more rare the bird became, the more collectible and pricey the specimens became for the Europeans. 
Both the collectors and museums have become so desperate to get the skins of the Great Oak for their display. So because of their negligence, the sailors have hunted all the remaining birds on Elden. In 1844, the last two members were tried to incubate an egg. But they were all stranded by the sailors and the egg was smashed by one of the sailors' boots. The Great Oak was crushed by the boots of mankind. The Great Oak was a victim of excessive hunting, terrible luck caused by a volcano, and horrid practices that throw the bird into the tomb. The bird has a huge disadvantage against larger predators, and they lack the ability to fly unlike other members of its family. And the efforts to save them were misguided to how bad the circumstances are. What you think about it? All they serve as nothing more than a present that led the bird to its doom. Today, there are only 78 stop remains of the Great Oak, and you can see them mostly in natural museums. This is a reminder of how a group of people can drive a species to extinction without caring about what was actually going on. So at the end, the Great Oak did have a sad ending. It may be gone, but not forgotten.